Good morning, children. This is Mrs. Sathi Ganguly. Hope everyone is staying safe and healthy at your home. I'll be taking your chemistry classes, and our first chapter in chemistry is chapter number three: synthetic fibers and plastics. So, uh, I would request all the children to prefer your NCERT book, page number thirty-two, when you are going with this video or when you are going with this presentation. Before I teach you synthetic fibers, first we should know what is the meaning of fiber. So, fiber is a thin strand used to make fabric. That is, they are the threads which are used to make different clothes. As you know about uh, that, they are the threads. So, here also it has been categorized into two groups. That is, natural fiber. And synthetic fiber. Natural fiber. Just recall it. What are natural fibers? Fibers which are obtained from plants and animals. They are known as natural fibers. Plants. We can take an two example. That is cotton and jute. And animals. We can take an example of silk and wool. After that, when I speak for synthetic fiber, which its other name is also man-made fiber or artificial fiber, there are four type of synthetic fiber which we will learn in this chapter. That is rayon, nylon, polyester, acrylic. Before I start with these type of synthetic fiber or these synthetic fiber, let us first understand. What are synthetic fiber and how synthetic fibers are formed? Basically, when I speak for synthetic fiber, synthetic fibers are made from small single unit, which is known as monomer. Mono means in a single term. If I speak mono, mono means single, and mer means unit. To define monomer. A molecule that can be bonded to other identical molecule to form a polymer. These two terms are new for you, children. So I took an example of a garland in Hindi, which you say mala, and then I took beads, beads moti. So garland is the polymer, and beads is the monomer. Identical beads. For example, I took blue color beads, moti, and then with the help of a thread, I make a garland. So, joining these beads when you make a garland in fiber, we speak joining the monomer, small single monomers, identical monomers, we form polymer. So, definition of polymer goes here: many small units. Combine to form a single large unit called polymer. So now it must be clear to each and every one. Small units means monomer, which I took an example as beads. Single large unit, which is your polymer, that is the garland. You will refer it with this example. The process of making this particular polymer. The process of combining monomers to form a polymer is known as polymerization because you are making a polymer, so the process is known as polymerization. The next question generally children ask that uh, is that that only the synthetic fibers are known as polymer? The answer is no. There are certain natural fibers also which are made up of polymers. So the common example I will take cotton. Cotton is a natural fiber which is made up of polymers, and that polymer is called cellulose. Cellulose, another name is glucose, and cellulose, that polymer, because it's a polymer, large unit, it has to be made up of Small units to combine that large number, that small units, large number of glucose units. So small, 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 small. In a small way, 
the units combine the glucose units combine to make a large number of that glucose units and then that glucose is rectified as cellulose so this is a common example of a natural fiber that this natural fiber cotton is a natural fiber which is made up of a polymer after this this is a general uh, introduction of a polymer monomer and a polymerization now one by one we will see all the artificial or synthetic fiber the first synthetic fiber i'll talk about rayon rayon's appearance just like silk people refer rayon because they get all the properties all the uses from this rayon so uh, just like silk so if they want to buy silk it's not in their budget so but the properties the, they want to use as a bed sheet they want to use as a carpet so they want to uh, purchase silk but the budget does not support them so they go with the synthetic fiber that synthetic fiber is rayon so another name for rayon is artificial silk some books you will find that rayon is also known as semi synthetic also why it is known as semi synthetic because the one word over here you can see that one word that one word is wood pulp wood wood is a natural product so if this particular pulp is treated chemically to obtain this artificial silk so it is somewhere written synthetic fiber somewhere it is written semi synthetic so don't get confused with that properties of rayon as i told you it exactly looks like silk so it is cheaper than silk it can be woven like silk fiber dyed that is koi bhi color de sakte ho you can give it different colors whatever you want in various colors so it can be dyed in various color uses of rayon it is a substitute of natural silk easily mixed with natural fiber easily you can mix it with natural fiber that is cotton to make bed sheet this look like silk but feels like cotton wool means looks like beautiful carpet but feel you like wool because it rayon can be easily mixed with wool and can be made as carpets so here we uh, have seen the properties and uses of rayon and now we come with our next uh, synthetic fiber that is nylon there i told you that rayon can be seen in some books it's a semi synthetic because it comes from wood pulp but here it is fully man made why nylon was made without using without using this word has to be highlighted using any natural raw material that is plants or animals properties of nylon it's strong elastic and light it is luxurious and easy to wash uses of nylon it's used to make articles like rope socks tent toothbrushes sleeping bags curtains parachute etc if you want to add more which you know or in place of these if you want to write anything else that also you can write so nylon it's a general topic but only thing you have to remember that it is not used from raw material it is from coal water and air and these are the properties of nylon these are two properties which you will see whenever you will use any of the nylon fabric today children up to here only next class we will see the tensile strength of all these synthetic fiber whatever i have taught today if you have any doubt regarding any topic which you could not able to understand you can send me in campus care app you can ask me any question regarding the topic which i taught you please take the classes seriously and the pattern in which i have made the presentation the same way you will write in your classwork copy you will start working in your classwork copy with the chapter with the topics with the uh, flow chart which i have shown properties uses the same way as i have presented you will also present in your classwork copy Thank you have a nice day